There are few who deny it. What I do, I am the best. For my talents are renowned far and wide. Hello and welcome back to Mad Monk Vlog. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super creepy makeup look that is Jack Skellington. You know, slick your hair back, brush back your eyebrows, you know, all that jazz. Then going in with a thin layer of white pro paint. You will see a lot of cringy uh, dancing in this video because of who I am as a person. I'm doing a second layer, letting the first layer completely dry, avoiding my eyes and leaving room for the black later. I'm going over it with a old beauty blender, just smoothing out the areas that where there were streaks, then going over it with some translucent white powder. Following my cheekbones and my eye sockets, actually, I am drawing where I'm going to have the eyes. I'm using reference photos of Jack Skellington, so I decided on kind of like his angry look, and so I, just for the outline, I used eyeliner. Going in with the detail brush with the white paint and cleaning up the edges. Don't need to worry about it too much right now, just kind of follow the, um, the picture and you can clean it up later. Going in with a thin layer of black face paint to fill in the eyes. You'll have to come back to it a few times because your eyes are oily and if it's water activated, which it should be, it could start rubbing off. So do one layer, let it dry, then come back and do another layer and set it with black eyeshadow and it should be good. It lasted the whole day for me. I'm drawing the smile now and I'm going all the way up to my cheekbones, just kind of following the indents in my cheeks. And then just drawing with a detail brush, painting in the inner part of my lips. Then I'm going to draw some lines on the bottom lip and then connect them later. And then continue doing the stitches up the rest of the face. Again, use reference photos to know where to put the stitches. Continue following your lips. You're also going to look kind of freaky, so you're bound to make some freaky faces. I'm going to be doing some details around the eyes uh, at the bottom part and at the top. With some black eyeshadow, I'm going in and doing some shading, uh, making it look indented. Use some other reference photos of even some other artists and follow like their patterns. With black eyeshadow, go in uh, the inner part of the lip. With some dark gray shadow, not black, I'm going to do some shading around my cheekbones and my temple to make my cheekbones pop a little more and make it look like a skull. I would suggest not stubbing your toe when getting a highlighter brush. <laughs> I'm going in with some white shadow, make some highlights of where I did the shading if I put in it too dark or anything. Anyway, with a black detail brush, I'm going around my jawline, uh, making my face look a little rounder than it actually is, um, just like Jack Skellington. 
Uh, and then with the flat brush, I'm gonna go in and fill it in just around my neck. Not going down to my neck, just the under part of my jawline. And now going in with yet another layer of black paint around your eyes, making sure it's set and then you'll set it again with black eyeshadow. Just to do some cleanup, use a detail brush and some white paint uh, to go around the edges. And I'm darkening my nostrils to make it look like Jack Skellington. And now I am setting my eyes again. You're gonna do that a few times and then it will last all day. This is the end of the day, almost midnight. <laughs> um, I've been in this makeup since 11 o'clock this, mor this morning, uh, so almost 12 hours, and so this is how it's held up. You can kind of see some black marks from my lipstick. So I just kind of wanted you to see um, how it's held up. I look really freaky, <laughs> but um, I really love the pro paint that I use. Uh, you can order it on Amazon online, and I love it. It's and it's worked really well. If you're sweating a lot, it's gonna come off, but it's uh, it did pretty good today, and so it's it's lasted to almost midnight, so over 12 hours. I don't recommend using grease paints for something like this. It's just gonna wear off, and, it, and it's not gonna do as well. But yeah, I, I, I definitely suggest using these paints, and so I hope this was helpful for you. Bye.